Today, I'm going to show you how to assign multiple MFA devices to your AWS IAM root user. First, we're going to see the advantage of assigning MFA, a use case, and then you are going to learn how to enable multiple tokens for your root access. As per the latest security best practice guidance, IAM Identity Center is the recommended place to manage human users and their access. However, there are still some tasks that require the use of root user, and we recommend protecting your root users with MFA. In case of an account takeover attempt, the malicious actor now needs to have access to the root email and also to the MFA device. Now, with the ability to add multiple MFAs, to your root user, you can maintain the same protection you see here while managing lost MFA device, guard against lost access, and unlocking the ability to have remote teams. Let's talk about a remote team use case. Let's say you're a cloud architect and your company headquarters is located in Paris and has presence in the USA and Asia. Now, recently, the US division won a project and in order to start development, they need to sign up for Glob Cloud. To sign up for Glob Cloud, you need access to the root user. However, your root user is protected with a hardware MFA. The challenge is that this device resides in the headquarters in Paris, and the only person with access to the vault is only for a family emergency. Now you as a cloud architect have to wait until the MFA device is available. With support for multiple MFA devices, you can have a hardware MFA device in each division, maintaining access to your AWS root account in the event that one of the devices is not available. So first, we're going to assign MFAs to your AWS root account user. Then we're going to test this assignment and finally, we're going to see how this login shows up on your CloudTrail logs. Let's first assign MFA. Go to your user, security credentials. Notice that here we are using the newly released IAM console. Now click on assign MFA. And this time we're going to first add the authenticator app. Give the app a name and click next. At the Authenticator app, you can use the secret key or the QR code, and you can see a list of compatible applications in the link. I will use a QR code. You can show the QR code, scan it with your app, and write down the two MFA codes provided by the app. Add MFA, and the device will appear on the list. You can add up to eight MFA devices. Let's add another one. This time, let's add a security key. Let's give it a name. Choose security key and next. Tap the security key. Let's test the login with your root user email. You're going to be given the option to choose which device to verify with. I chose the security key and we're in our console. Now let's see how this looks in CloudTrail. First, we see that there is a console login. Let's see the event itself. The event will show you additional event data related to the, the MFA device that was used to successfully log into the console. And now that you have seen the demo, I want you to follow IMS practices and assign MFA devices to your root user. For more information, take a look at these resources here. Thank you and see you next time.